Hello to all of you and welcome back to Never Thirst Again. I'm your podcast host, Chrissy Smith. And this is just a friendly reminder just to make sure that you do subscribe to Never Thirst Again through Podbean, Amazon Music, and of course, a host of other platforms that will be listed in the description of this episode. Now that we've gotten that part out of the way, let's get started. I wanted to talk to you today about something that can sometimes be a bit difficult to work through when That thing is transparency. We all deal with transparency and things alike in very different ways. In particular though, I remember having a conversation with my mom about the way that my dad never ever liked sharing all of the necessary information with his doctor. The doctors would go through all of their normal list of questions, including asking him if he was experiencing any pain or discomfort or just any issues in general that maybe he'd like to bring to the doctor's attention. However, my dad being who he is, he's always one to keep a smile on his face and he would never say anything along the lines of, Yeah, um, I have this issue and this issue and this is what's going on. Instead, his answer was always, nope, everything's all good, doc. I mean, every now and then my knee might bother me a little bit, but yeah, overall I feel just fine. I feel great. Now, I know you guys are probably thinking what in the world happens on the back end of this? Well, let me tell you. You see, while my dad was giving this information to the doctor, at home, it was totally different. He was complaining almost every single day about achy joints in his knees, hands, and even his shoulders. He was even taking pain pills to help ease the discomfort, and sometimes he'd walk with a slight limp because of that. He had no problem sharing those issues with my mom, who, by the way, did not have any type of medical degree. (laughs) However, when it came to meeting with his doctor, all of a sudden, things were peachy keen and he shut down just like a vault. I get it though. My dad has never really been a person who was prone to making too many complaints. He likes the idea of having it all together the same way most of us do. Now, as it relates to husbands, dads, you know, they can sometimes have a tendency to put on a brave face that says, I'm fine, I can do this, and I don't really need any extra help. But guess what? Sometimes we all need a little extra help or a little extra coaxing when it comes to just being okay with expressing our issues with another person. Problems can't get resolved unless you're willing to actually voice what those problems are. Now, the other part of that too is, if you don't have someone to help keep you accountable, well, then situations like this start to occur, right? You need someone who is great at being your accountability partner because they're the ones who are going to force you to be transparent with them and with yourself not to mention others. My mom, knowing full well that my dad's tendency isn't really to be completely open with his doctor, she now takes it upon herself to always join him on his doctor's appointments and fill in some of the things that he may happen to leave out, which is usually the valuable information that the doctor is looking for. Now, he's still a work in progress, y'all, but listen... (laughs) After hearing him complain so much about his knee and downplaying just how bad it was, my mother was able to speak a little bit more in depth with his doctors on his behalf. And let's just say, long story short, it turns out that he had to have a whole new hip replacement. After that was done, he walks totally fine and we haven't heard a peep out of him since about the hip pain. Now, this story right here, listen, this is just one way that being in a place where you're not completely transparent can definitely hinder you. But listen, 
if I am going to define what transparency even is or what that looks like, to me, and again, this is just Chrissy's definition, not Webster's, <laughs> I define transparency as having that ability to be clear, concise, and most of all, truthful with oneself and with others. There's no room for ambiguity or error in the information that's being given, right? That being said, we don't always know what's at stake when we risk not being forthcoming or honest with ourselves and others. We risk creating strained relationships that lack communication and openness. We risk the opportunity of making proper informed decisions. And in my dad's case, we risk the opportunity of receiving the proper remedy for being in good health. Think about it. When our thoughts, our feelings, our actions get in the way of us truly being open and honest about what's going on with us, it creates stagnant transparency with other people. And that also includes God. Many times, we put ourselves in a place of just glossing over what is truly there. Why shy away from really looking ourselves in the mirror and saying what the truth actually is? I myself have done that quite a few times, in particular when it comes to choices about relationships and a number of other things. I've even skimmed over the bad parts that I might have played in situations because I was not being completely transparent. Now that I'm in a place where I'm older, much more maturity has set in, I do take it upon myself to try and be better every single day. If I am asked a question, I do my best to be completely honest with the answer. If I'm not feeling that great, I try and be transparent just so that my loved ones, they know exactly what's going on with me. Why? Because as I mentioned before, I never want to be in a place where I am hindering progress. Progress for myself and of course, progress for others. So on today, I leave you guys with this thought. Make sure that you are, if you are ever in a place of needing to divulge information that is valuable, information that can help, information that just needs to be given, always operate from a place of truth, honesty, clarity, and most of all, transparency. That way, there's no room for asking extra questions about how you feel. Again, the ambiguity is not there. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. I wish you the best, and I do hope that you have the most absolute awesome week ahead. This has been Chrissy Smith with Never Thirst Again, telling you once more that you can subscribe through platforms like Spotify, Amazon Music, and of course, the host of other platforms that will be listed in the description of this episode. You can visit me by going to my website at www.neverthirstagain.net. And from there, I look forward to hearing all of your comments. Uh, and also too, if you have any specific prayer requests, I am always available to receive those and my team and I will get working on making sure that we're sending some temper up for you. Well, that's all I have for you today. Take care and God bless.